So it has to be separated now from your data. Then, yes, one of the important thing, I and mean, this is an additional activity for all of us, we have to divide our IPC into input, capital goods, and input goods. Then now, in 3B, what we used to do is we used to show our IPC available, IPC reversed, and only the tax amount was shown. There was no specific bifurcation of input services, capital goods, and input. So now we'll have to separately put those amounts into different heads. We'll have to maybe see our registers again, and we have to find out which was it, if in case we haven't done that before during our compliance. Also, capital goods is more important because there, there could be few of the credits which were input at the time of filing of returns, and then after finalization of the you have understood that it's the capital goods, and you have capitalized that uh, particular expense. So maybe capital goods needs to be looked at more carefully. Then, um, oh, again, RCM. So there, there, there is a, a column in GSTR 9 where you have to show what is your ITC paid on RCM, and uh, what you have availed, the really ITC paid and availed. In that, they have come out with a registered dealer and register, unregistered dealer. So for example, if I am availing a service from a GT, which GT might have registration number, because it could be providing multiple services. And there could be a chance that you are paying reverse charge on a uh, reverse charge basis, uh, sorry, tax on a reverse charge basis, because it's a GT. So now, when GTA service can, you have to bifurcate all the services now, which is registered, which is unregistered. So that is also an additional activity everybody has to take, even advocate, even they could have the GSTN. So we'll have to bifurcate everything into registered dealers and non-registered dealers for the purpose of RCM. Uh, again, uh, GSTR 9 for ITC is more about reaching a point where ITC is lapsed during the year. So what happens is they start from GSTR 2A and then they slowly reach to ITC labs. So for, for example, whatever, as you are aware, like Sonal mentioned, GSTR 2A will give you all the credits which are your eligible credits. And then later on from 